Hello guys, today we are going to learn how to create pen drive bootable. So we are going to create Windows 7 bootable pen drive here. Using the same method you can create Windows 8 and Windows 10 bootable pen drive. So before proceeding further I would like to just let you know about some requirements. Before creating any pen drive bootable you must have the admin right where you can control your uh, pen drive and you can format the pen drive you must have one image of windows 7 or windows 8 or windows 10 or you may have dvd you require one pen drive minimum size should be 4 gb for windows 7 the other software which we will use to mount one iso file in particular software is called ultra iso or power iso and you need a windows inbuilt utility is called disk part utility so first uh, requirement is the admin right and i have the admin right as i can assure then the second is windows iso image windows iso image is here i already copied in my computer and here is the windows 7 ultimate and uh, this icon you can see is one iso file it shows here it can be open in ultra iso software which size is 3 GB around then you require is a pen drive I have the pen drive which uh, I already plugged in and the size is around 8 GB then the next thing you require is the ultra ISO I already have the ultra ISO as I have shown this icon will show you the ultra ISO open with ultra ISO I can open this file in ultra ISO so you don't need to open it just you need to mount this file in your computer so once you right click and mount it in your computer it will show uh, this file will be mounted in your computer so as of now you can see my computer and this is the virtual drive it automatically came when I install the ultra ISO so as of now I cannot open this because no file is mounted yet so right click on that ultra ISO and mount to G drive and here is the G drive so after some time you would see Windows 7 is mounted so I can open this and I can copy all these files once my pen drive is bootable so let's drag this out and create the pen drive bootable so you just open the CMD in your computer command prompt go there and type here this part so once you type this part it will ask you the privilege level select yes and it will give you the another window in your computer which is showing here disk part let's see here now we need to find out the number of drives connected to our computer how to find that there are certain commands we need to remember so list disk this is showing there are three drives as of now connected to my computer so I am gonna use disk 2 which is around uh, coming around uh, it's a disk 1 coming around 7861 MB so we need to make sure we are selecting the right disk otherwise you are gonna uh, format your drive unfortunately so let's select select disk little bit of space here select disk 1 and disk 1 is selected now let's try again and see that which disk is selected disk 1 is selected and we can see this asterisk in front of that okay now I'm going to create the partition in this disk so before creating the partition I need to clean the disk so you can format the disk before or you can clean now so if I want to see my drive which is H drive and uh, this is not this is actually formatted but I will clean it again and I will create some partitions so I can keep this window here and see that once I give the command clean this one is selected and clean now it's getting clean it's saying access is denied let me try one more time now 
this part succeeded in cleaning the disk. You can see the disk is clean. Now we need to create the partition. So we need to create the primary partition. Create partition primary. And this part succeeded in creating the specified partition. Now we need to format this partition. So there is a command called format fs equal to what type of uh, file system you want to keep. So I am going to keep here ntfs. You can keep fat32 or ntfs. And I want to format it quickly. Quick. 0% completed. It is taking little bit time, but it will be succeeded. Yeah, it's done now. So our partition has been created and we can see that H drive now we can open. Then we need to just give a last command which is called active. This active command will make this pen drive bootable. As of now the pen drive is similar to the format uh, command, but now it's going to keep some bootable file from Windows drive uh, into this drive. Click on active and this drive is marked as an active. Yeah, our disk is now ready. We can open the disk and we can copy all these files which is mounted here. Just copy these files and paste in this drive. So once these files are copied, you can insert the pen drive and make the first bootable drive as a pen drive and you can install Windows 7 as you install using CD drive or DVD drive. Thank you for watching the video. Bye bye.